All right. So, is this gonna be? Man, I'm tired and hungry. I'm craving something sweet, actually. You don't have Bahas now. Then your wish is granted. What the heck? You guys just gonna bust it? Is you know what? Why am I surprised? Whoa! Look at all these sweets. Did someone summon a dessert genie or what? I'm surprised. Uh, I'm Fang. Don't don't ruin this. Don't say his name. Why, hello there. Sorry to bother you. She does sound a little bit different, though. Harley, pops. And Fang ruins it. Hmm? Why do you know my name? That comes as super suspicious, Fang. Ah, uh, well, um, despite my looks, I'm actually interested in researching fairies, and, um, that's why I know who you are? That's not bad! I'm impressed, Fang! I see. You're interested, huh? Uh, she might quiz him, though. Wh what Oh, uh, just so we're clear, I'm not stalking you or anything. Fang, now, she, I don't think she would have thought that. This isn't Tiara. You're silly. Of course I don't think you're a stalker. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's not the type to get stalkers. Really? Are you sure about that, Bahas? I'm, I'm just... That's interesting. She spends her days locked inside a pigsty of a room doing research and eating junk food. Well, you know what? <laughs> no comment. Anyway, where did you get that cape? Uh, uh, yeah, I was wondering. Oh, I found it earlier. I'm pretty grateful for that, actually. I left that cape, but it's all right. You can have it if you want. Why did you leave it behind? Why didn't you take it with you? So, this cape was yours, huh? What were you doing at the Catechus Ice Caves, then? Good question. Oh, me? I was... It's noisy in here. Did something happen? Aaron, don't you do it too. Oh, it's Harley and old Ben Bahas. Why? Just why? Oh my, you know about me too? Uh, as you can explain this quickly by just saying that Aaron's your fairy. Hey, I'm not an old man. Thing? Do you and Aaron know these people? Ah shoot, now Tiara's here too. This, you got this thing, you got this, I believe in you. This is gonna get complicated. <laughs> Show on, shoo. shoo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, Tiara, you're gonna make things complicated right now. We can explain it to you later. Uh oh. Shooing me away like a bothersome insect. <sighs> you know, Tiara, you like I get you like that, but like, don't like it's so contradicting to how she normally is. Oh well, if you know who I am, that makes this easier. I'm Harley, a fairyologist. This is my fairy partner, Bahas. Nice to meet you both, again. I'm sorry for waiting in your room like this to ambush you. I actually want to ask you for a favor. You surely would have seen what Aaron just did now that I think about it. Yeah, sure. Anyway, is it cool if I eat these desserts? You don't mind, right? Thanks for the food! Yeah, l look at Aaron. She's gotten a lot more like Fang, whether she realizes it or not. This may be a Segami syndrome, although Aaron was first, I'm pretty sure. The same picture? Yeah. No fair, Aaron. That one's mine. Oh, that's right. QE's alive now, too. We haven't heard from them. I forgot. QE's, QE's a her, I thought. Didn't... Wait, no. I can't remember. Deck on it. Forget it. <laughs> it's so delicious. Oh, she probably remembers from last time, too. So, you know, that's a thing. This custard slice has the perfect amount of whipped cream. Are so fresh and the texture just melts in my mouth. Although it sounds like it's different the way she's describing it. Mm, um, mm, this tiny cake thing is much tastier. Oh, the outside is perfectly cooked, and the inside is overflowing with thick, juicy chocolate. Okay, we can't do this right now. Like seriously, I only brought one sandwich because I didn't think this was gonna be that long. But I'm actually incredibly hungry right now. Um, and. Is Bahas better at cooking now? The gooiness of the chocolate okay. mixed with the moist outside oh. is totally amazing! Fang, don't make me punch you, bro! Alright, you can't do that! Hey, you guys! You mustn't eat food that doesn't belong to you without permission! I'm pretty sure that's the bargaining chip, now that I think about it. And where in the world did you learn to be food critics? Well, 
I mean, Tiara, should you really be surprised? That's great to hear. All that baking was worth it just to see your happy faces. I wonder. Is, it, are, is this re-recorded lines for uh, Advent Dark Force? Because that would explain why they sound a bit different. Um, although, <laughs> I keep thinking about Sherman. All right, not, not now, not now. Whenever I cook for Harley, she's never impressed. Really? Harley. Unfortunately, I have no sense of taste. Really? Hey, fancy lady, feel free to help yourself. I don't mind. No wonder you are so willing to give your shrimp away to Galdo. That makes a lot of sense. That's actually kind of sad, Harley. I saw this really sad show where a mother was dying, right? And her daughter didn't know and she cooked her some food. And she at least wanted to taste her daughter's cooking, but she her, it was she couldn't taste anything anymore. But that was unbelievably sad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be bringing sad stuff. It was an anime. I don't want to tell you the name because, you know, I don't, that would be a kind of a spoiler yeah no it would be a spoiler without a doubt but i want you i mean either way really well if you insist if you know it then you know what i'm talking about just so you know this tiny cake thing is mine mine i say a fan just seems a lot more like now i i, I get why people say fake well i mean they may have been talking about intro fang because I have been wondering why people weren't as upset with me as being upset with fang although i didn't you know i try not to you know, broadcast it too much. But this would explain it. If this is the fan you guys like, I'm with you on that. Then I shall try some macaroons. I still do think that the beginning of Fairy Fencer could use some work, but we'll talk about that later. Let's just enjoy what we have now. And it is a shame that, because, you know, a lot of people I heard, you know, they said, oh, Fairy Fencer, it just doesn't seem too interesting. I thought it was, I think it's boring. You know, compared to the Neptunia series. I could see why. But now, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. When Emily's episode comes out, maybe people will be interested. But anyways. How are they? Yeah, seriously, Baja sounds a lot different. Amazing! It tastes so delicious! As if my stomach has been reunited with an old friend. Well, it might have. I don't, I'm not sure if he had macaroons last time. Well said. I'm quite picky about what goes in my dishes, and I go out of my way to not use harmful ingredients. Yeah, he sounds quite different. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, and yeah, that was an interesting tidbit. I didn't know that either. That's nice. What? Really? Jeez, mm. you don't know what you're missing. Mm. Oh, man, it's so good. Now, but how? if Harley doesn't have sense of taste, why does she eat junk food all the time, you know? Yep, yep. I totally wouldn't mind repeating this moment over and over again. Then why not just, um, you know, eat fruits and vegetables? Well, I mean, Harley is Harley, but still, you know, I would think if she has no sense of taste, she might have not been being literal. She might have just, you know, been saying that, you know. But anywho. It's strange, though. Whatever happened to Dorfus' dinner party? That's something to note, Aaron, and now that you mention it, I think both there are two things that we interacted with Ethel differently. And we saw Pyga. We actually saw Pyga, who didn't get the fury. And then there's Sherman, who he might have just walked in there and said, Hello everyone! Today is the day you will die and just start killing people. How far I have Changed my opinion about him. Man, you're so rude. Do you think about food all the time? That is, that is interesting, Fang, for you to say that now. That's not what I mean. We met Harley after we met Lord Sherman at Dorfa's party. Don't mention his name. Don't say his name in my presence. <laughs> this is so weird, but in a good way. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually for- oh no, I- did I forget about that? I feel like I might have mentioned it. No, I probably- I probably didn't. I didn't- I know I didn't, in fact. This is all the same day I'm recording this, so. Tiara, have you received an invitation to a party from the, uh, Dorfa Corporation? Oh wait, no, I didn't mention the party, I just didn't mention Sherman. No, I haven't received any invitation. Interesting. I heard the party Dorfa was planning to throw got canceled. No, why did it get canceled? Don't, nah, why did it get canceled? 
What do you mean? Yeah, please explain. Hmm. There's only one explanation I can think of. The exact moment we traveled back in time became the singularity. Uh huh. Because of that, the past, past events, events leading, leading up, up to that, that are beginning, are beginning to, change. to change. Yeah. Leading up to it, you think? <sighs> hmm. Sorry to interrupt, but is it all right if I explain what I'm doing here? Oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Sorry. Uh, please continue. Talking's free, so talk away. That's very, that's very true, Faye. <laughs> Thanks. Apparently, there's a fury at the Zawaza Plains, but it's being guarded by one of Dorfa's executives. Oh, good thing I got Harley then. The Zawaza Plains. Yeah. She must be talking about Apollonius. Yeah. Uh huh. That's quick. We didn't we have a bunch of others before that? Uh, cause there's Gal. Yeah, we where's Zank? Although I'm not exactly eager to meet him, but if we can get my man, you know about him too. Jeez, you guys have good connections. Well, I've said pretty much everything I want to say. Really? Okay. Let's all team up so we can collect that fury. Oh, that, oh that's a big thing, Harley. I was waiting on you. Why do I have to do that? I'll pass. Thanks. Fang! What the heck? We'll do it. We must cross this unavoidable path if we are going to revive the goddess. Oh, no, no, no. He's talking about going to fight Apollonius. Oh, that's understandable. Eh, I knew this was going to happen. Fang, you use your plan, bro. I think just, just show him your power, and he should respect you. I hope. I don't mind going to the Zawaza Plains, but what's your deal, Harley? You're not doing this just out of kindness, right? Good question. And you should already know what her answer is. I'm a fencer, too. Yes. Dorfa looks like they're up to no good, so I'd rather see you kids collect the Furies. For the sake of world peace and all that. Fang a, a kid? Really? Tiara? Aaron, I can understand. Huh. Interesting. But. Wait, uh, wait, wait, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just realized Tiara said this for the sake of world peace. What the heck? Of course, that's not entirely accurate either. There we go. You guys were at the Catechus Ice Cave yesterday, right? Harley, d don't, because I, I need you to act like normal. Because uh, I'm, I'm suspicious of that now. Not like I wasn't... I just... You guys know the deal. I wanted to be interested in a character, and Sherman was the closest one. And when he appeared again... Plus, Sherman is a lot different in this path. He is. I have a device for measuring the energy output of fairies, and it recently recorded an unprecedented amount of energy. Yeah, for good reason. I was interested in finding out what kind of fairy could produce such power, so I went searching for the one responsible. And you're talking to her. Is that... She's probably talking about when Fang and I returned to the past. Oh, no, she... she that was what she was talking about? By coincidence, I saw you guys coming just as I was planning to investigate inside the Catechus Ice Cave. And Aaron used her power. I'd never seen your faces before, so my curiosity was piqued. Shortly after, my device recorded another demonstration of enormous fairy energy coming from inside the cave. Mm-hmm. Your device must have recorded the moment Aaron's power forced the Broken Fury to evolve. Yep. Evolve, huh? That's very interesting. The reading wasn't as big as the one from the other day, but it was still impressive. Well, technically that wasn't Aaron who did the first thing, so, you know, it was the goddess. I got even more curious about what kind of fairy could produce such energy, so I followed after you guys. And that led me here, to this inn. Makes sense. Also, just think of those capes of yours as my way of helping you out. You didn't seem dressed for the season. Wait, you left them on purpose, or...? Did you? Wow, that was nice of you. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, does that mean you were stalking us the whole time? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, Faye? That's actually a very good point. I'm like, wait a minute. In order to leave those caves, you would have to have known they were going in in the first place, similar to the whole tea thing with Tiara. Wait, was Tiara stalking them? Is that what the deal was? Well, no, because she did the tea thing. Wouldn't they have known? I mean, Fang's pretty powered up now. See, that's typical Harley behavior, but I'm a little scared. She's just interested in me, right? I mean, just keep your distance, Aaron. <laughs> Come here, little 
little fairy. I don't bite. Yeah, that sounds quite contrary. For some reason, her eyes seem way scarier than they did before. Her interest is probably a lot higher, too, as well. Like, all she was interested in before is that you lost your memories. Now, she's like, you're special, like, beyond, yeah. All jokes aside, I just want to study that fairy's power up close. She does, it, I want, she does, is she more mellow? Would you say that? Honestly, I don't really care about world peace or doing what's right. Would you mind if someone like me tagged along with you? Well, I mean, as long as you're not gonna go against us, I think that's fine. Not at all. Um, how should I put this? I'm already used to it. Good, good way of phrasing it, Fang. If Fang okays it, then I guess it's settled. Thanks. I'm happy to hear that. All right. It's refreshing to see enthusiastic eaters for a change. I'll make sure to feed you guys plenty during our journey. I will have to get used to Bahas' new, uh, take. Well, you know, his new, yeah, take. For sure. I hope we get along, Pops. You will. You know you will. We need to be careful if we're gonna go up against Dorfa. Anyway, what's your fairy's name, Fang? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, huh? Uh, uh, I'd better thoroughly examine that pretty body of yours. No, she's not chill at all. She's actually, she's, she's, yeah, she's a lot more dangerous. She's like, what was I thinking? Hey, get your dirty hands off me! Bang, you need to watch, Aaron. You're very interesting, Aaron. You're gonna have to show me how deep this rabbit hole goes. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna... Wow, Harley. Harley, you can't... You, you know you... Why is this woman... She's, she's, she's a tentress. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. You can't do that to Aaron. That's not allowed. No! Get away from me, you black! <laughs> That's an interesting one. This has certainly taken a turn for the bazaar. Yeah. But Aaron, you should have known. Why were you that close to her in the first place? She's only gonna experiment on Aaron, though. We still get to enjoy Bahas's free food. Fang, don't be like that. Aaron, confess to you. My condolences, Aaron. Wow. Ah, this is pervert. Now that's actually very accurate. Okay, but I got my girl back, and I have a great idea. What's that? Really? What? What? You didn't even hear what the idea was. Yeah. Wow, really? Alright, Fang. Well, yeah, we do. What, you got a lottery ticket or something? Huh. That's not bad. But, you know, telling people about the future is, you know, they have to convince them and everything. Well, I mean, to be fair, that is what I thought as well. Now I'm kind of ashamed. Well, I was... Yeah, I'm kind of ashamed. No! Actually, Fang, I like that approach she had, alright? That is not in... Please don't break the fourth wall like this. You... I'm pretty sure... Has she ever made any of you guys look? That's a question. That's a... That might be a question of the day. Who knows? Maybe. Well, but that, that, I do get what she's saying. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. At least, you know, you could save a life or two. I mean, that is what we're trying to do. You know, save lives. But, I mean, property damage, how much could you do? You know, what could you do about that? Uh, Aaron, why are you saying that? What, why are you two saying that? Yeah, like, what the heck? Yeah, there, no, that's very... Why Why are you two saying that? Okay. Yeah, the, these two are... They're, they're, yeah, alright. Alright, you two. What is this? Oh, it was a dream. That's interesting. That's interesting. Why did she... Well, I mean, po quite possibly. 
You are you gonna say it? Are you still gonna say it? Or is she gonna say the lot of well the you know the horse races thing and stuff? I don't know, she said the same thing. <laughs> what the heck? Nah. Oh, that, that makes sense, too. That does make sense. I mean, Aaron said the same thing, only, you know, with a year being the, with the reason. Well, I, that was a good thought, TR. I do think that was a good thought. Um. So, first off, looks like we have a Lola sub event. Yep. Oh my gosh! Alright, Lola. Yeah. Oh, at the lava caves. That's interesting. Alright, um... So let me just double check here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's do the sub-events. Yeah, you are amazing. I will give you that. Well, I mean, you both are amazing. Like, you gotta, you, you need both of you to make the combo. You know what I'm saying? Slip of the tongue. What's wrong? What? What? A blue peach? What the heck? That's interesting. Oh no! L look at look at Harley's face. Like. Okay, well that's nice. As long as that's nice, and the cookies. Oh, that's n that that's cool. Bajas is actually in the kitchen area. All right. Well, I'm loving this. So f wait a minute. One. Oh. I mean, might as well keep saving. Harley is still level 33. And yeah. All right. So it looks like I was right. I was gonna ask um, the villain over hype if the levels that I leveled everybody up at that mattered. It does. Now I'm really glad. 46. Why was I saving up? What was I saving up for? Oh, probably group analysis. Yeah, we're right there. So we could get group analysis really quickly. All right. So Harley doesn't have to worry about being behind. Good. But on that note, I'm pretty sure I got to grind. I didn't grind at all in the other, uh, I didn't grind at all in the other dungeons. Uh, so I am going to grind. And I didn't want to spend too much time here since, you know, got a new laptop now. So we can try Fairy Fencer on that as well. But, this has gotten very interesting. Now, I do wonder, one last thing. Mm-hmm. There's a voice list? That's the first time I'm seeing that. We might have to... Uh, can I... Oh. Huh. That'll be interesting. Alright. Well, I think that's gonna do it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We got... I got a lot to think about. Um, I'm gonna grind these three up. And also grab the fairies. I should be good also to, um... Gar. Hang on. I actually haven't, we didn't, um, I should have said the config before I got the present, but still. One last thing to end it off. So, first it's you. You know, he fits Ethel. He really does. Um, and then you. このザラッとした感覚何か良くないことが起こる。そうまでしてさらに力を求めるか人の雇用。はあ。What what? A former ally is now our enemy, and a former enemy is now our ally. Hold on. 
No, hang on. I'm, I'm gonna skip him for now. What did the, um... What did this guy say? I, we only have the normal three. We don't have anybody else different. Uh, hmm. Well, actually, that did sound kind of fun. That's funny for you to say. Um, who would, who would I? Yeah, let me see what these two do. Okay, so that's more of like a Yuzuki. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Apollonius. I'm pretty sure about that in the next dungeon. Um Alright. Again though. I think I think that's everything. Yeah, I'm gonna grind them up. Um and also hopefully I can get D maybe get no. I don't think I'll get a revival rank A. I only have B. Um Yeah, I only got B. Uh yeah. Well these might be A's though. Hopefully one's a better fury or fairy for Harley, cause I I don't have another earth. They're only I mean come on. Like, we got a red, a fire bee, water bee, we don't have wind, or earth, or lightning. We have ice, we have light, and we got darkness. So, I mean, it's wind, lightning, and earth that we're missing. And we have an earth fencer right now. She's m missing out. Anyways, for the last time, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully the next episode you see a fairy fencer will have a lot better, uh... Well, I don't know if the quality will be better thanks to YouTube. It, it, it'll be, well, it should be different in general because I'll be able to edit differently too. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. And now it's time for the question of the day. And this has got to be one of the hardest questions, if not the hardest question I've had for the fair offensive questions. Here's the winner. Here's the question of the day. So at first, I honestly wanted to choose Bajas because, like, Come on, I want it to be close. I want it to be close with Harley. And, I, you know, if I wanted to study the fairies, but then I was thinking, Bahas probably doesn't do that. You know, he, he's the, you know, he cooks and takes care of Harley. Harley. Harley's the one who studies and, you know, is the fencer who, and I would like to have a fury if I was in this world. But then if I chose to be Harley, then there's no Harley. So that's not an option. Then I was thinking, okay, what about Sherman? I would have chosen Sherman if he hadn't turn because now i want to be in this story so i can slap some sense into sherman i want to i'm hoping in the future there's a moment where fang and sherman meet and fang doesn't try to kill him but you know tries to convince him what he's doing is wrong basically like a naruto and sasuke moment um which in that case and thinking about you know a bunch of other factors i was like you know what i think it's got to be fang i didn't want to be fang initially because he's got a criminal record and you know it depends on what time I would become Fang and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, if becoming Fang now, I'm not sure if I want to be that. But, you know, he is the main character. He's the one who, you know, gathers everybody together. I also consider Gal, though. But Gal, though, had a terrible encounter with Zank. And I don't think Gal, though, would have been able to defeat Zank. I mean, you know, he had an army and everything. Um, so I wouldn't have wanted to go through that. So it just seemed like Fang was, you know the most logical answer and i'm assuming if i'm replacing them then you know the gen my gender would still be the same so i would not change and you know some of them some other situations may you, you, you get what i mean so yeah um i think i'd have to go with fang not exactly you know excited to do that but i think it would be my preferred choice because i need to talk to sherman i still want to be in harley's presence and you know some other factors um oh and i wouldn't kill apollonius too that's another thing. But yeah, uh, please post your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.